two things that don't normally go together, grass and saving water, right? Well, now that could change thanks to a new species of grass that was given the stamp of approval this week. New specialist Darby Sparks joins us now live to explain how it'll work. Darby? That's right. Well, if you don't want your grass to look like this, but you also don't want to spend a ton of time and using a ton of water to keep it green, you might just want to get some better grass. It's a simple solution that came from years of research. We have put in a ton of effort. And then all of a sudden to see this, like we just summited Everest, felt like. BYU professor Brian Hopkins has collaborated with students and other researchers for years to find a species of grass that'll keep our urban sprawl cool in the summer while guzzling less water. Introducing hybrid Bermuda grass. It's very dead super fine surface, nice to walk on. Until Monday, it had been banned by the Utah Department of Agriculture under the misconception it was an invasive weed. They just didn't distinguish between common Bermuda grass. But this breed is different in that it doesn't spread. The only way to get it established is to use uh, sod or uh, plugs or sprigs. After extensive testing between hybrid Bermuda grass and the commonly used Kentucky bluegrass, Professor Hopkins and students found a key difference. Kentucky bluegrass started to wither within days of no watering, while the hybrid plant... It went six weeks before it started showing signs of stress. Hybrid Bermuda grass is commonly used on sports turf in the south. Professor Hopkins says due to the warming of climates, it's become suitable to exist in places like Utah. And it'll provide a huge benefit to our initiative to conserve more water as it's drought resistant and soft. Conservatively, I think we use less than you know, 50 to 60% less uh, water, that's, that's massive. If you're interested, the grass should be available to purchase by next summer in sod form. One note, though, it does go dormant throughout the fall and the winter. In Salt Lake City, I'm Darby Sparks, KSL 5 News. All right, I think I found the grass for my yard. Thank you, Darby.